Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisha, welcome. Today I wanted to do a review on the House of Okja again. Yes, it's been a hot minute and I've been getting so much DMs asking me to do an Okja video. So I pulled out my winter scents that I would wear for the winter time to talk about. So these are the dupes for other high-end brands and I'm going to give you my thoughts and these are the ones that I pulled out that I think are the best of the best for winter. So if you want to see my review then please stay tuned. So these are some affordable dupes that you can get saving your coins that I think is perfect and very close to the original. So this first one that I am currently obsessed with I love to go to bed in this fragrance and this is a new release from Okja. Okja changed up their bottles. They put different colors now and these are 50 ml. So if you see the price increase slightly, it's because you're getting 20 ml more, which is pretty good. And this one is called Snowy Sun. I have wanted the original Tom Ford Solinage for so long because it's a beautiful, soft, very intoxicating scent. And when I saw Okja came out with this, I had to have it in my collection. This is so sweet and captivating and oh my God, I am telling you, I love this fragrance so much. It lasts such a long time on me. And as I said, I love to layer it or go to bed with this fragrance. This has notes of carrot seed. In the mid, we have white flower, orange blossom, jasmine rose, and in the base we have benzoin, vanilla, and labdanum. To me, it's very heavy on the vanilla. And all. It is such a beautiful scent. Guys, if you do not want to spend that fortune on Tom Ford, you need to check this out. It is absolutely dead on. Up next, we have another one in the pretty bottle, and this is smoke, sinful smoke. This is the do for Tom Ford, and it is the um, smoke, cherry smoke. I went in stores and I smelled the cherry smoke. And honestly, this one blew that one out of the water because I sampled them side by side and I could smell this so much stronger, bright. It's so much more vibrant than the original one. This thing is a beast. It lasted for, on me for so long and it is such an amazing fragrance for the fall. Same DNA, it smells the same, but this one is brighter, it's fresher, it's more out there, and it's punching you in the face. So Sinful Smoke, I would definitely say I prefer over the original. Moving on. Okay, so since we're on the Tom Ford bandwagon, let's talk about another one that I'm totally obsessed with this. I spoke about this a few times on my channel already. And this is probably my second or third bottle that I've used. This is aged tobacco. And this is the dupe for Tom Ford's tobacco oud. Now, I have not smelled the original Tom Ford or tobacco oud. But if it smells like this, baby, it is fire. This is so perfect. Oh my God, it's so perfect for the winter months. It's so comforting. It's so sexy. It's so... Mm, so woody. This wood smells like cedar. I don't know if it's cedar. Let me check the notes. So this has tobacco, vanilla, sandalwood, and benzoin. It says sandalwood, but okay, no, they have whiskey, vanilla, cedar, spicy notes, cinnamon, coriander. And in the base, we have tobacco, oud, sandalwood, incense, patchouli, and benzoin. You definitely get the incense. You get that tobacco, but the wood I'm getting smells like cedar. It smells cedar. Guys, when I tell you, oh my word. Fellas, you are going to love this. This is totally unisex because I rock this and I absolutely love it. But when I tell you longevity, everything on this is number one. Trust me. I am so in love with this and I hope Okja never takes it out because sometimes they pull stuff away from their website and I'm like, bro, I am dying to get back French Avenue. That smells like Noir 29 from Le Labo. They don't have it anymore and I have one bottle and I'm chinksing it because it smells so good. Please, Okja, if you're looking, please bring back that fragrance. It's so, so good. So this is H Tobacco from 
oak chair and it's the dupe for Tom Ford tobacco oud. It is spectacular. The other one is a dupe for um, Mason Magella's replica by the fireplace and this one is called Melting Embers. I think that's how you pronounce it. Guys, oh my goodness. This has notes of cloves, it has pink pepper, orange blossom, chestnut, guyac wood, juniper, vanilla, pearl balsam, and cashmere. Now I own the original and <laughs> oh my god this smells so exact so so exact that you will not know the difference this is such a close dupe guys trust and believe it smells like by the fireplace oh my word now as i said i chose the best of the best the ones that i think are so close to show you guys and this one definitely definitely by the fireplace so so good a little more smokier a little more less sweet i think just a slight less sweeter than the original but this smells incredible so if you're looking for a dupe for by the fireplace melting em embers e-m-b-e-r-s by okja a really good one for those of you who know me, know that I'm totally, totally obsessed with Perfumes de Mali Herod. Herod just hits different. And I do own it, but of course I still had to get the dupe of it. And for Okja, it's called Moira, M-O-I-R-A. Baby! <laughs> this thing smells good. Mm. This is so, so close. Like 95% close to Herod. Oh my God, this just makes my eyes roll back my head. This is such an amazing dupe. And when I tell you longevity, I feel like this one lasts longer than the original Herod, to be honest. Moira, Moira, I think that's how you pronounce it. Guys, it is very, very close. So I know Perfumes de Marley is very expensive, but I own it. But I had to give you an alternative because not everybody can afford it, first of all. And secondly, in these hard times, even if you could afford it, nobody wants to waste their coins on these things because you got more important things to do. You know, the world is getting hard out there. Moira, definitely a great dupe for Perfume Somali Herod. Excellent. It's no secret to my subscribers how much I love Santal 33. My husband loves it. We've been through no lie, no word of exaggeration, probably close to five bottles between both of us and of course I had to get a dupe because sometimes I don't want to waste my juice because it's so expensive so I got Rue now when I first reviewed Rue is Rue R-U-H-E Rue Rue to me when I first reviewed Rue it wasn't as vibrant and strong as the original but Okja reformulated some of their fragrances and this I think is one of them because when I first sprayed it, every time I get my Okja's, I spray them out and then I put them to rest for a few weeks, sometimes even a month. I pulled this out and I swear to you, this thing is so strong. It projects, it lasts. I sprayed it and I went to my husband. I'm like, what am I wearing? He's like, Frank Santal. I'm like, bruh, nope, it is rude. So they reformulated this and this is strong, okay? It smells just like the original and I'm so happy they did because the original cost very expensive, okay? Those coins are a lot. So if you're looking for something that smells like Santal 33 that nobody will know, definitely check out Rue. This is excellent, excellent. Moving to, on to this other one, guys. This fragrance really, really surprised me. And this one is called Blue Velvet. Now they changed up the packaging. I have the older one because the newer one I think is in a beautiful royal blue bottle, 50 ml. But this one is Blue Velvet. And this is the dupe for uh, MFK Oud Satin Mood. And no word of a lie, I have it right here. When I tell you, this and this, let me spray them again, just to refresh my memory, not like I do. Mm. I'm gonna spray them side by side. 
and compare them. Okay, I just sprayed the, this one. So this is the original, this is the dupe. <laughs> Guys, it is so, so close. Oh my goodness. This smells so, so good. It's so close that you wear them on your skin. Trust me, you cannot differentiate. When you wear this, nobody's going to know. Even the, the, those perfume connoisseurs, trust me, they cannot tell this when it's on your skin. This smells incredible. It is so close. And when I tell you this is a beast just like this, no word of a lie. I sprayed this in the air, you know, just spraying all the, um, the aromas as I told you that I do when I get fragrances. I came back in that area probably like an hour later. I'm talking about I just sprayed it in the air, not on an object or anything. I came back and this was so high in the area, the scent. I was like, wait a minute. I sprayed this probably an hour, hour and a half ago and I can still walk by in that vicinity and smell how strong it is. It performs just like this. The beast modeness in this is so good. It's so, so good. So guys, this is very pricey. But if you don't want to sp spend the coins on this, definitely give this a try. It's very close, like very, very 98% close to this in scent profile. And longevity is beast mode just like this. So give this a shot and let me know. So I don't, I have lots more, but I'll keep it to this that I have. I had another one that I wanted to talk about, but for some reason I cannot find it on the website and it is night in cans. This smells so so good i don't know if they don't have it anymore but i can't find it mm. night and cans is their version of um that dior fragrance what is it called fab delish fab delicious yeah so you know that's that is skin can nude so if i can't even talk bro if you cannot find it this is definitely it but I cannot see it on the website, so I don't know if they're out of stock for a while or they pulled it. I'm sorry if they did. That's why I didn't mention it. But Night in Cans is definitely a dupe for Feb Delicious. Oh my goodness. I had a bottle of Feb. I wasn't reaching for it and I sold it. And I have this because I know I have this. So I have to keep this close because this, to me, I feel like this smells a little bit better than that, the original. Because there was something about that one was bothering me but I don't pick it up in this one. As I said, it's very, very close in scent profile, but this one sm seems smoother. It's just nicer. Anyway, if you can find it, get it. If you can't, I'm sorry. Okja, bring this back because Feb is like discontinued. You need to bring this back so that the people can have it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little review that I have, my recommendations. I do have, I think it's a 15% discount code on Okja's website. I don't receive any money from it. So don't think that I'm pushing their code because I get something I don't. That is just for you guys. Or you can check on the website. There's always something going on. Okay. Just check it before you purchase. But don't pay full price because I'm sure there's a discount code out there. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting on? Please hit that subscribe button on your way out. Let me know in the comments. Have you tried Okja? What are your thoughts? Which one do you have? Guys, I'm telling you, this is one of the only dupe houses that I deal with. There are a lot of them that contact me to do work with them. But when I am true to something, I am true to that. If I know this is something that I could stand behind, I would push it to you, okay? I would show it to you and let you know my thoughts. I am not gonna be jumping from here then everywhere. This is a brand that I stand by. Anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching and until next video, be safe, be kind and smell fabulous. Bye now.